Hey everybody, Minecraft Lab Tag on Toy Videos, and today I'm going to show you how to save web blocks using our web block generator. Let's get started. So to save web blocks, it is very simple. And our new app, Web Block Generator, is going to be really help you out a bunch. So once you first open this, you have your welcome tab. It just tells you there's a couple steps needed to save your web block, and kind of quickly takes you through the steps. Not much there, just tells you click the next tab, so we'll click create. So right here, we have a couple buttons. Just enter URL here, and this you'll click in that box. It already has your HTTP information there, so you don't need to worry about any of that. And you'll just type out your website, so I'll just do that here. So now that I have our website here, here, you can click the create button. It will, once you click that create button, it'll process that. And once it's processed, the text will be highlighted, letting you know that it's ready to be saved. And then it tells you below here how you can save it. But we don't need to worry about that because that's what we're going to do right here. You have your help button right here. Um, it's just going to take you to this video that I'm making right now. Um, so what you want to do is just hover your mouse cursor over the highlighted text, not out here, right here and click your mouse, and then keep it clicked until you see your little cursor change from um, your normal text editing cursor to your mouse pointer. And once that, you can drag it around just like this just to see if the text will move, and if it does, then you're good. If you somehow unhighlight it, just click the Create button again. It won't make any difference. And then we can drag it to our desktop or wherever you're gonna save it. We can release right there. And then we have our web block on our desktop. And so you see it has the URL name. But I'm just going to change that. We can change it to whatever we want. It doesn't really matter. If you take a look at this icon, you can see it has a little safari right there. And if you take a look at the actual icon for web block generator, you can see it actually has the actual web block icon. Um, it, it will vary based on your computer. Sometimes it gives you your web block icon. Sometimes it gives you these little Safari icon. It doesn't really matter. They're both web block. I just wanted to put that out there just so you guys won't worry if the icon may look different. If it looks any different than what I just said right here, double click it. If it opens up that link in your browser, then you are good. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions on how to create your own web blocks, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you want to download a web block generator for yourself for free, you can hit that link in the description below. If you like this video is helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you right back here in the next one. Thanks for watching.